Nice house. You own it? The bank owns it. Is Oscar home yet? No. Still at school. Okay. Let me know when he gets back. plus today in my test. Excellent. Can I go play video games? I don't see why not. Cool. Hey, can you just do me a favor and make sure you change out of your school clothes? Sure. Slow down, young man. I had the right of way. Oh, it's your world, huh? Okay? Is he okay? Oscar, are you okay, sweetie? Oh my God, I I don't know what happened. The the brake must have slipped. And thank God I thank God I got in the car in time. So I'll see you tonight. You really shouldn't skip the rest of the practice. I have some things I have to do. All right. I'll see you tonight. OK. See ya.
surprise. Well, thanks, Oscar. Geez, I didn't know you knew how to cook. My dad taught me before he died. Mm. Hey, there's something I think we need to talk about. <clears throat> sure thing, sweetie. What's going on? <coughs> I thought you got for drinking <coughs> so fast. <coughs> <coughs> Thank you. <coughs> I might have made the coffee a little hot. <coughs> this is going to be what's in it? Eggs, bread, and syrup. Mm. Wait, what? What is this? <coughs> Powdered sugar. <coughs> oh my god. <coughs> 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 Do you want to do with the boss? Dear Vincent, I've been waiting to see you for such a long time. I'm up for parole soon, and I think I have a good chance. I, like you, have taken a liking to science. But I also have developed a love of writing. I hope to see you soon. Love, Austin. Awesome. mailed to the school care of you. Looks like it's been in circulation for a while. It's probably my brother Oscar. Trying to chase me from getting the job. I didn't know you had a brother. Long story. I'll see you at the awards banquet tonight. The 
It's been a pleasure for me, and uh, you guys should really be proud of your kids. They worked really hard. Yeah. Such a pleasure to teach them. They worked so hard, and it's just been a great, great experience. So anyway, without further ado, let's uh, let's give out the award we've all been waiting for. All right, the uh, most valuable scientist award. All right, and this year the award is going to go to Miss Katie Anderson. something to look forward to this year and God I can't speak for everyone but getting out of bed in the morning and going to high school can be the worst experience of your life <laughs> but this team has made me see past that it's given me a purpose a reason to get up so thanks Is this a success? Will, yes, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, I need you to. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Well, kiddo, it's time to go home. Oh, well, can I stay just a little longer? Sure. Okay. Who are you going to ride home with? I could give her a ride, Miss Anderson. Are you sure, Mr. Burke? No problem. Let's drive safe. Did you have fun up there? Yeah. So, uh, Did you? No, I was no. very nervous. <laughs> I hate speeches. <laughs> I was so nervous. Your speech was a lot better than mine. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> so why don't you just hang out and then come to me before before you leave and I'll give you a ride. Okay. All right? Mm -hmm. Cool, thanks. You got it. the end of the road. Uh, thanks for everything. You're welcome. Katie, I should, probably shouldn't tell you this, but I'm gonna tell you anyway. What? You're beautiful. Oh. Thanks. You're welcome. Hey, what's up? Where were you? Oh, that's right. You had your science nerd thing tonight, didn't you? I won Most Valuable Scientist Award. You won Most Valuable... What? <laughs> oh, God. Just shut up. You're such a jerk. I'm sorry. I've just... I've never heard of that award before. Oh, well, you are an idiot. So, are you gonna come over or what? I don't know. I could hardly move at practice. I was so tired from last night. Come on, pussy. Now shut it. What, are you wet? That sounds like something a guy would say. Well, are you coming over or not? Do I have to call someone else? Yeah, no, I'll see you at midnight. So? I thought you 
they stood me up because I'm some kind of a brain now. The only change I noticed is your tits got a little bigger this year. Get me? I'm still in bed. Well, I mean, I mean not now, but like later. Maybe. What's in it for me? Uh oh. Oh come on. Nothing. Tell me a dirty little secret. Mm, let's see. Okay. I did it with Carl. Again? <laughs> Big whoop. Give me a detail. Um, I thought of Mr. Burton. You really are sick. I'll be there at one. And don't get your panties in a bunch if I'm a little late. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm, I'm seeing Carl. You're what? I know, Katie's gonna be really mad at me. You have to tell her right away. I can't. If you don't, I will. All right, so let's go back to chapter four. accidentally told everyone you're fucking Amy and Carl. Are you serious? No, I'm fucking with you. God damn it, Kathy. I can't believe I fell for that shit. You are such trailer trash. Yeah, well, at least I haven't fucked everyone in the trailer park, you stupid slut. So everybody's here, which is awesome. So this week we are going to be talking frog. <laughs> so Tommy, I guess you speak frog. 
So anyway, if you notice, there's frogs in front of you. We are going to be doing some dissecting. Does anybody want to guess what the largest internal organ is in a frog? Meredith. The largest internal organ in a frog is their liver. Correct. All right, and then peel back the skin and muscle tissue and pin it to the cork board. Lesson. Yeah, it's a lot of fun, huh? Well, hey! Congratulations on the award. Thank you. It was nothing. Ow. State science teacher of the year is nothing. Come on, Vincent. Has to feel pretty good. Well, maybe a little bit. Mm hmm. I'm gonna have an assembly so the whole school can celebrate. Thank you. Bye. Let's do it. So much. Thursday. Thursday works. Hello? Hey, Marge, it's me. Hi, hi. I just want to let you know I'm running a little late. What's going on? Well, Emma installed a new computer system today. It's going to help us track down fugitives, but she's, she's got to give me a rundown. Oh, well, can't it wait until tomorrow? Come on, honey. I'll cook. What are you going to make? How does uh, steak tartare sound? Raw. All right, I'm gonna stop by the butcher shop on the way home. All right, bye. All right, I got some time. Why don't you give me the rundown on this internet thing? It's a T1 internet connection, actually. Now, is that different from before? We had a dial-up connection. Oh, yeah. Now we get background checks faster, and we can get on the paper site look up public records. That's gonna help. What's going on, Katie? I don't know, you tell me. What are you talking about? The whole school is talking about it? Jennifer Johnson is the whole school. Mm -hmm. Screw you. You want to? Right now? You kept our relationship a secret to try and get with my best friend. <sighs> I'm not. We're done. Yes, Katie? I want to spend time with you alone. I need to talk to you. Well, OK. okay. My family owns a cabin just outside of town. I've been needing to get out there, clean the place up, make sure everything's all right. Why don't you come and meet me there? We can talk. Oh, I'd love to. Good. Just take a Route 3 out to Burton Meadow. I'm just finishing up my patrol here. I'm on the East Fork of Old Country Road. Over.
So you used to live here when you were younger? Yeah, my father grew up in Liberty. This was a family summer cabin. I must have been lonely with no kids around. <laughs> <laughs> well, there was my brother. What's his name? <laughs> Oscar. So would you ever want to have a family someday? What do you mean, kids? Yeah. Oh, I don't know why you wanted to ask me this, do I? Yeah. <laughs> Forget it. Do you want to show me your bedroom? <laughs> picking up out here. Check out a fire at the cabin on Burton Meadow. Could just be a burn pile, but I'm at a weird angle here. Roger that. To John about you coming over for dinner tonight. How's seven o'clock sound? Sounds great. John has an early patrol, so he should be home sometime after six. Alright guys, stop the chatter. Let's uh, start off where we left last week about internal organs. Tommy? How about stop making out? Right, how about stop talking, alright? 
I know you guys would probably much rather talk about external organs, all right? These are frogs we're talking about, all right? So not that it's any of my business, but do you have any idea how this cabin fire could have started? <laughs> Hello? Oh, hi, Dad. So, Vincent, I'm curious. Are you one of these people that's a vegetarian because you want to eat a healthier diet? Or is it out of some sort of moral conviction? It's a good question. Both. You ever been hunting? Oh, my God. You're sure she's not one of her friends? I will. I'll, I will tell him right now, of course. All right. Good night, Deb. That was um, Debbie Anderson, Katie's mom. Apparently, Katie stayed the night at Jennifer Johnson's house last night, but then she didn't come home after school today. And now Debbie is absolutely terrified that something's happened to her daughter. Remember that call I got about two months ago? Neighbors said someone was screaming out at night. Mm -hmm. I drove all the way out there. It was a Johnson's TV turned up too loud because Kathy was passed out on the remote. <laughs> I guess it was her night off. Was um, Jennifer in class today, Vincent? Yeah, Jennifer was in class. So I'm going to have to go talk to the Andersons before it gets too late. You know, John, I could compile a list of students you might want to talk to. You know, just in case they know anything about Katie. Yeah, well, that'd be great, Vincent. I'll come by, talk to you in the morning. Try careful. And I'll save you some dessert. Is there meat in it? No. And don't bother. And I didn't forget about your cabin, Vincent. I'll come by tomorrow afternoon. I'll take you up there if you want. I'll see if there's anything you can salvage. All right. Good night. Good night, babe. Jennifer Johnson? Yes, sir. You want to get in the car? Katie Anderson stay at your house last night? Yeah, I mean, it's my dad's house. You know where she is? No, she was gone when I woke up. You know where she went? I thought she was with Carl Pierce. All right. That's all. Where were you, Jenny? I was worried about you. I. Uh, What's her name? Your, uh, slutty friend? Katie. Her mother called. She can't find her. Why don't you, uh, go pass out? Puke all over yourself again. Fucking rush. <laughs> going on? Hanging out with Carl. What's up with Katie? Is she really sick or something? I, I mean, I heard she spent the night at your house last night. Yeah, I mean, we just, like, watch movies and stuff. I, I heard this rumor that um, Katie's, like, seeing this way older guy. And if the only person that she told is you, just tell me. Jen. I think she freaking hung up on me.
Great work on that dissection, guys. Everybody who participated passed. Just goes to show you how far willing participation will take you. <laughs> Wait, I need to take attendance. Well, as I'm sure you're aware, Katie Anderson's still missing. I spoke to the parents last night. They're not doing so well. Debbie Anderson's a complete wreck. She's already convinced her daughter's been kidnapped. And then Marge reminded me I'm supposed to come down, pick you up, take you up to see your cabin today. And I remembered what you said about compiling a list of Katie Anderson's friends. Yeah. I figured I'd get me two birds with one stone. I went to the cabin last night. Yeah. It's strange thing, I don't remember any of it at all. Yeah, you're pretty out of it when I dragged you away. Yeah. But I don't remember any of it. It's like it was a total blank. Could be smoke inhalation. Maybe come back to you when you see it in the daylight. Let's go take a look. First one's I had a real connection with. You know, she's charming. Good student, all around great kid, really. You know, the word on the street, as they say, is that Katie's known around school as one of the big party animals in the senior class. Yeah, I've heard all those rumors you're talking about. I happen to know that they're not true. In fact, I can put you in contact with her ex-boyfriend who's responsible for spreading those lies. Who's that? Carl Pierce, the senior class jock. Yeah, he's had a crush on Katie since they were in eighth grade. Looks like it was a pretty nice bike. I don't recognize it. What's that? Guess it was. Well, you never did answer my question last night. I asked you if you ever going hunting. No. I'm not a hunter. Liberty One, I'm on my way. Over. Homicide, I gotta go back in. I'm gonna stay here, look through the rubble, see if I can't find something else. Did you come out here last night? It was too dark, I couldn't see anything. Right. Let's help you dig. I'll come back in a few hours. If I can't double back myself, I'll send somebody else. Don't forget me out here.
Oh my God! Bullshit, officer! Nobody tells me nothing. Did you see anything? Officer! Officer! I told you this was gonna happen. Children running wild around here. This place is a mess. Look. This is Liberty One. I need forensics and a body bag out on Johnson Road. Copy that. What's the situation? I've never seen anything like it. It's a god it's a goddamn bloody mess in there. Uh, could you also send send my wife to pick up Vincent at the Burton cabin? I hate to do it, but this is gonna take all day. She'll love you for it. Vincent, you okay? Huh? What's going on? John sent me to get you. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. I don't know. I just passed out. No, no bumps or scratches? No. Huh?
faster. I wonder what he did now. What did I do? Uh, I didn't say that you did anything, Carl. I just want to talk to you. <sighs> well, where were you two nights ago? Um, I was making home movies with my girlfriend, Shara. Your ex-girlfriend's been missing for three days, and she's been presumed dead. And as you probably know, her best friend was just found stabbed to death in her own bedroom two nights ago. So those would be some pretty sick movies, Carl. Now, 7.45, two nights ago, where were you? Night practice. Season starts in two weeks. Coach gonna verify that? Yes. Yeah, yes, officer. Well, it was really nice talking to you, Carl. You're free to go. How you doing, coach? Pretty good. How's it going? I just got one question for you. Was Carl Pierce at night practice two nights ago? Yes, he was. All right, coach. That's all. Thanks. It's not him. I mean, he's got a problem with authority, but his alibi's clean. Cell phone covered in blood in his pocket, but it's not him. Look, there was no blood on the inside of the coat pocket. It was only on the cell phone. Mm -hmm. Now, that means that the blood on the phone was dry when it was placed in Carl's pocket. Placed? It's got to be a setup. That's the only thing that's making any sense to me at this point. Unless Carl gave his locker combination to somebody, the only way that someone can get in is through the secured files in my office, and... Only faculty members have keys. I am the janitor, so I do have keys to the school, but uh, I wasn't here on the September 5th. I'll see us with my wife. It's our anniversary. But go ahead, you can call her if you like. Oh, I will. Anything else? No, not right now. I'm free to go. Amy Jones, please report to the principal's office. Amy Jones. small town and cell phones get shitty reception, you know? I mean, how was I supposed to know? I know how hard this is for you. I just can't believe this has happened. I need you to tell me if there's anyone who might have been upset with Jennifer or with Katie for any reason. Katie, Katie told Jennifer that that she had a new boyfriend. And I really wanted to know who it was. Well, you're... That, that's enough. OK. You're free to go. Mm How's the interrogation going? Amy's pretty shaken. Yeah. How's your head? What? Oh, it's fine, thanks. So, did she give you any useful information? She was as useful as she could be under the circumstances. 
Not every day a teenage girl finds out her two best friends have been murdered. I thought Katie was just missing. Her parents called last night devastated. They said they noticed that her bike had been missing. It's been over two days. They think she might have been hit or abducted. I gotta get going. I'm sorry, but um, I think it'll work itself out. Vincent, you, you got your... Up practice, huh? Let me give you a ride home. Um, I was just gonna call my mom. It'll be fine. Let me give you a ride. walk the rest of the way. I want to ask you something, Amy. Do you know who Katie was seeing? No. No idea who she was seeing. Why are you sorry? It's just a question. That's all. Vincent said he didn't mind. Who? My science teacher. Since when do you call your teachers by their first names? Since he's someone that's actually there for me. I want you to come inside and not leave this house until the cops have this all figured out. But, I mean, I can't even go. Where are your mom? Dad? Your mom's already started dinner. Thank you for giving my daughter a ride home, Mr. Burton. Prince come back? Should get something back by tomorrow.
fuck am I? This is your makeout spot. Don't you remember how many times you took Katie here? What are you gonna do, man? I just need you to fill out some paperwork. Don't worry. I've got a pen. <laughs> now I want you to listen very carefully. I would hate to have to do the other leg, knowing how important football is to your no. sport. Please. I need you to fill out a little report and sign your name. You can do that, can't you, Carl? Oh, I know you can. And you know how I'm sure? Mm -hmm. ah! Because I've got Katie's dead body with your baby oh. inside of her. Mm -hmm. Now you're gonna write down every last word. Here, put your hands out. Put this pen. Mm -hmm. Part of your last breath. Mm -hmm. Here, let me help you out. Let me help you out. I start writing. Carl confessed? He pushed his note under my door. Brock! Brock, you in there? Open up! <laughs> <laughs> what awful jumpy for a cop, aren't you, Sheriff? Damn it, Rocky! <laughs> Almost got yourself shot. Uh... <laughs> Hi, hon. It's me. Yeah, um, Vincent just brought me a confession note signed by Carl. How'd you, how'd you get a confession? Slid under his door. All right, just keep him there. I'll be there in 10 minutes. I will. All right, bye. Uh, he wants you to stick around for a minute since, since you found the confession, all right? Sure. Yeah. Hey, why don't you just sit here and I'll make us some coffee? Can I use your bathroom? Sure. God damn it, Rocky. You mean to tell me this didn't strike you as funny? There's an industrial drum of cycle oil, a bundle of shop towels, an eight ounce bottle of chloroform, hydrochloric acid, and double A batteries. I guess everything kind of strikes me funny. Do you even sell chloroform here? It's a special order. Well, I need the security tapes for 3.30. You should be somewhere on this one. Freeze that frame. Emma, you found anything yet? Got your print match. Oscar Dillashaw, former resident of Liberty who sliced his parents, did 10 on a manslaughter plea as a juvenile.
Oscar, why are you doing this? You tell me. You're sick. I thought that they locked you away. I patiently did my time. Why are you killing all of these people? To protect you from what? Yourself! Do you know what they do to men that fuck little girls? They put them away! I killed anyone that could destroy you! I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna fucking kill you. I'm gonna kill you. The knife. I had to kill him. It's all over. He killed your wife. Drop the knife. She's behind you! Above ground. 